day and a brand new beautiful day. You are watching Q Club on QTV. I'm your presenter for today, Bridget M. Zulu. And of course, we bring you the best. And it is Q Club. We have a Facebook page, which is Q Club Zambia. Do visit us and see amazing things that we have all over for you. We are all over. Trust me. And internet, TV, parade, sometimes, chabe. <laughs> So we are everywhere. We've prepared so much amazing things for you guys. We have facts about animals and facts on our, our science facts for today, which is uranium. We're going to learn so much things on the periodic table. It's atomic numbers. So much amazing things that it's 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 just in chemistry we find it in chemistry and it it's also involved around us we just don't identify it but we're going to learn how we can identify it how we can use it in solving our word equations in solving our our equations just on a daily day best at school if you're in grade 11 in grade 12 well q club is the best for you to watch and learn about uranium and you will be able to solve it around when it's mixed up with other questions well we also have something for you guys we'll be talking about the Komboko ceremony something about ceremonies that we prepared for you guys hope you guys are ready and hope you guys have just prepared a gear Duh. i just want you guys to be geared because well the Komboka ceremony <laughs> is going to be explained to you guys by our beautiful, beautiful friends and they're going to talk about it so much. They're going to elaborate things that we do not know about the Komboka ceremony. Things that we didn't even want to know about it. But well, we're going to be interested in to learn more about the boat and the water and the people in there. Just ah! But let's go direct into our science of facts for today and learn more about uranium. Uranium is the heaviest of the naturally occurring elements. It can be found in row 7 of the periodic table. And it is a member of the actinide group. Uranium atoms have 92 electrons and 92 protons with 6 valence electrons. There are 146 neutrons in the most abundant isotope. Let's look at the characteristics and properties. Under standard conditions, uranium is a hard silvery metal. It is malleable, meaning that it can be pounded into a thin sheet. And it is ductile, meaning that it can be stretched into a long wire. It is very dense and heavy. Pure uranium is radioactive. It will react with most non-metallic elements to make compounds. When it comes into contact with air, a thin black layer of uranium oxide will form on its surface. Uranium-235 is the only naturally occurring isotope that is fissile. Fissile means that it can sustain a chain reaction of nuclear fission. This characteristic is important in nuclear reactions and nuclear explosives. Where is it found on Earth? Uranium is about the 50th most abundant element in the Earth's crust. It can be found in very small traces in most rocks and in the ocean water. In the Earth's crust, it is found in minerals such as uraninite, kenotite, tobinite, and caffeinite. How is uranium used today? The main use for uranium today is for fuel in nuclear power plants. Nuclear power plants generate power by causing a controlled fission chain reaction using uranium. This produces huge amounts of energy from a small amount of uranium. One kilogram of uranium can produce as much energy as 1,500 tons of coal. Uranium is also used by the military for special ammunition. Depleted uranium, DU, is used in bullets and larger projectiles. It is used to make them hard and dense enough to punch through armored targets. It is also used to improve the metal armor used on tanks and other armored vehicles. Uranium was first discovered by German chemist Martin Etch 
1789. He discovered the element while experimenting with the minerals pitchblende. Uranium was not fully isolated until 1841 by French chemist Eugene Pellicott. It was named by Martin Klaproth after newly discovered planet Uranus. Uranium has three naturally occurring isotopes. Uranium-238 is the most stable and makes up over 90% of the naturally occurring uranium. Yellow cake is an intermediate step in refining pure uranium. It is a yellow powder made up of mostly uranium oxide. Around 33% of the world's uranium is mined in Kazakhstan. Uranium is not only dangerous because of its radioactivity, but also because it is chemically poisonous to humans. The element plutonium is made from uranium through a nuclear process. Uranium is naturally formed in the universe during the supernova of a star. back hope you've learned something on our science facts for today it's very important that we learn about science about chemistry you should be that person who who just wants to be that best person in science when it comes to chemistry and physics oh, I'm just going to say I'm gonna do this biology I'm gonna be the best biology I'll get one physics I'll get one chemistry I'll get one and to make science and to be the best even if you're a girl and the, you've been told no girls don't do the best only these things are for guys no challenge them and say I'm going to do it one thing that our biology teacher told us, he said, if you ask with us girls, it's easy. Once we set our mind on something that we're going to do it, it's definitely it's going to work. With guys, once they just say, ah, vanika anga, if it's cheetah, it's easy. They'll just move away from it and they won't do it. Because why? They'll give up. But for girls, we just have that spirit that, we, ah, we just can't give up. guys. I just have to work on it. And we're also going to talk about, I, I want to tell you guys about the personal hygiene that we have, guys. Kusamba nowadays, it's really important. Kafungo, girls, we are girls, we are guys, we are human beings. And we, this body has different hormones, you know. Different, different hormones. We're talking about science now. It has different hormones that we produce, different hormones each and every single day. Our organs smell our time. So we need to bust, we need to take good care of our body. Of course, our, our body, this body is just like a container. We live in this container, we move around in this container. But we should also learn to take good care of this container that we live in. Otherwise, it will smell and people will start running away from us. So, babies, not babies, at least if you're five or three. Teo, mami, mami, nsambike, ninewanzanga manseka, nima nunga chief. If you're a girl, buy Rowan. You can buy Rowan, use it. Bath, ngani sopo na boom. Sambira, utu nungkile choka, zoni kabuino. Oni kachet kamozi, uma nkache chizuwa, chacha choka, waka washa washa, waka nika, oni kache buino, oni kache na mize, wa sile yako, no sile yako, mize, na wanza, na wanza ako. Of course, I've talked a lot. But let's move into our translations for today with our friend, Ania. Let's learn. Hello, 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 dear friends. How are you doing? I'm sure you're fine. I'm also okay. Today, let us start with our translations. You know, when it's time for our translations, all we have to do is sit down, get our pens, books, or a plain paper, start writing the words which we're going to learn today. Because each and every word matters. Since we want to know the correct pronunciation, the correct spelling, not forgetting. The way it sounds, right? <laughs> yes, we said the pronunciation is the same thing. Okay, so today we'll be looking at the letter W. The letter W has got some quite exciting words. As usual, we have never looked at words which are boring. Nah, we do not look at words which are boring. But rather, we look at words which are very exciting. Words which we normally use ourselves, but we misuse them. So to get started with our letters for today, which are in Chinyanja, the letter and we just let them into English. So our letters start with the letter W. So our first word for today is Wala. Wala, which is spelled as W A L A. W A L A. Wala. What does it mean? 
well kuwa light means to shine yes to shine bright like the way the sun you know the way the sun shines so bright like we are able to see everything so that's what the word wala means but you know one confusing part in one one funny funny part i don't know why people do this you see when you're talking to them then when they do not want to like do that thing then they're like wala <laughs> so i thought it used to mean no i'm not going to do it but rather the word wala means to shine so when someone says wala it means to shine it doesn't mean no or the sinning guy say it doesn't mean that okay then our next word is waza waza which is spelled as w a z a kuwaza it means to sprinkle when you get seeds you sprinkle them on the soil it means wawazayaja must seed so that they should grow into something like maize maybe a tree <laughs> okay then our next word is werenga werenga it is spelled as w e r e n g a w e n oh sorry about that w e r e and g a wearing kuwerenga i'm sure we all know what it means kuwerenga kuwerenga it means to read kuwerenga it means to count so kuwerenga might mean to read or to count wearing a number raya so count these numbers that's what it means oh wearinga is video read what is on this book so kuwerenga means to count kuwerenga means to read then our next word is weruza Weruza, which is spelled as W E R U Z A. W E R U Z A. Weruza. Kweruza, it means to simply judge. <laughs> so when someone has to judge an issue, oh, the way it goes in court, there's a judge. He has to make the final judgment. So for the weruza nkani. It can either be a judge yourself because some of the people we know are judgmental and sometimes we can be called to say okay uzaweruza inkani because maybe you are always you know you oh you are always acting oh why so people will be like so mzaweruza nkani meaning you're the one who is going to be the judge you're going to judge this issue you're the one who is going to settle this issue down then our next word is weruka weruka which is put as w e r u k a w e r u k a kueruka kueruka it simply means to leave and go so when a person when a person leaves or a person goes somewhere aweruka oyo mondo aenda abuela aweruka poche oyo Ainda abuela. So kueruka, like we said, it means to leave or to go. Then our next word is weta. Weta. It is spelled as W E T A. W E T A. Weta. Kueta. It means to look after something. So to look after maybe sheep. So we are going to do nisha weta jani berere. Or to look after your siblings. So weta and then. So that's what it means kuweta to look after something. Then our next word is wira. Wira. So wira it is put as w i r a. W i r a. Wira. Kuwira simply means to borrow even the sound of us most of us we know ourselves. Tima kamba di kuvida. That's what we say, but actually it is kuwira, meaning to borrow. Okay, then our next word is kuota, kuota, kuota moto. So kuota is spelled as W-O-T-H-A, W-O-T-H-A, kuota. Kuota simply means to warm oneself. So kuota mulilo, because you want to warm yourself with the way the code is, a lot of people want to be near the blazer because they're like no it's cold you see so mambi does a funa kuota moto manji so that's what is going on now because we're in the month of june we are halfway done with the year almost done with the year but we are remaining with another six months so june is one of those cold weather whereby people just want to be near the fire but the fire 
it is very dangerous some people get burnt because they want to be near the fire so kota mulilo it means to warm oneself so you have to be careful kapok ngota mulilo don't play with fire anyhow not without your parents supervision around because you don't know what might happen maybe water might spill on your leg then that is going to be another issue so you have to be very careful so these are the words which we had for you on our translations do not forget to join us as we bring to you more translations so that we can finish the alphabet and look at new exciting words in chinyanja guess what dear friends i did not tell you that today we are going to look at the zambian proverbs oh wow i've been looking forward to this time i'm sure yourself you've been looking forward to it because these proverbs they will teach us a lot of things most of the times when people use proverbs you find that they're old ones or people who are known to be wise or people who are experienced we do know that as ourselves we are young we are not that experienced but we are going to learn these proverbs because they've got a use in our life not just at school but in our community you know the society where we come from and also the part of our tradition and culture so these proverbs will be in different languages we are going to have fun <laughs> in short that's what i'm trying to say we'll look at proverbs in bemba we'll look at proverbs in nyanja we'll look at proverbs in lozi we'll look at proverbs in kikaonde then finally we'll look at proverbs in chitonga so there's someone who's going to help me with the proverbs in chitonga he will be teaching me each and every day he will be just my teacher for the chitonga proverbs hello my producer my producer is going to be teaching me he's laughing <laughs> yes he'll be my teacher for the chitonga proverbs so today we'll look at the bemba proverbs i'm sure yourself you're wondering hey bemba yes it is the first time that we've been looking at the proverbs in bemba but don't worry it's going to be a simple thing because we will know that proverb first in bemba will translate it into english not forgetting the meaning behind the proverb that's one of the most important things because there's no way we're going to say a proverb then it ends there just hanging in the air what are we talking about we want to know the meaning so to get started for today since we'll be looking at our bamba proverbs our first proverb for today is so this proverb is in Chine uh sorry this proverb is in bamba then we'll translate it into english then we have to know the meaning behind this proverb so our first proverb for today is ichiku pempula Echikulia. Ichiku pempula echikulia. What does this mean? What is the translation in English? Okay, the translation in English is what visits you is what eats you. Yes, what visits you is what eats you. So what is the meaning? The meaning is that your best friend may be your worst enemy. The people we spend our day the whole day with the people we meet at school the people some of them at church those people might be your enemy but it's not everyone some of the people are good people but some of them may have bad intentions okay then our next proverb for today is imitikula empanga imitikula empanga what does this proverb mean in English? What is the translation in English? In English it is translated as growing trees make a forest. Growing trees make a forest. Can you comprehend anything from the proverb? I'm sure like we said at first, we said we are still young, we do not have experience. So some of the proverbs they're going to be new draw ears but we'll make it simple by knowing the meaning so the meaning behind the proverb is that today's youth are the future nation so ask the young ones you yourself you young person at home my young self and all the young ones we are the future leaders of our nation zambia so let us take care of ourselves let us have an impact in our lives towards the nation what impact do you have know the impact you have to the nation don't just waste your time don't waste your life anyhow no rather let us use it nicely so our next proverb for today is 
mamukodwe gaba fula ubushikuta bucha bwango <laughs> this one is exciting right yes okay so it is translated that when there are too many cooks it takes long for the day to break hmm? do you get the translation the translation is that when there are too many cocks, it takes too long for the day to break. What is the meaning behind the proverb? The meaning is that when too many people with varying views consider an issue, it takes long to be resolved. Because what happens is that this one comes with the idea. No, maybe it should be like this, then this one comes like this, you know. So by the end of the day, instead of an issue being uh, being being able to be done with everything to be suited you'll find that no people are still arguing over the certain issue so that is the meaning behind the proverb then our last proverb for today is kolwenga kota asabirwanabana kolwenga kota asabirwanabana so that is the proverb in Chilemba. What is the translation of the proverb? Well, the proverb is translated as when a monkey becomes old, it is fed by its young ones. When a monkey becomes old, it is fed by the young ones. So what is the meaning behind the proverb? Okay, so the meaning is people should look after their aged parents and they should also look at their aged relatives. So, because we said Kolwenga Kota Asabilwanavana, yes. So, we should take care of our aged parents. If not parents, we have grandparents, right? Not only grandparents, we have the other relatives. So, we, the young ones, we should make sure we look after our parents. So, this is all we had for you for today, looking at our proverbs. I'm sure you've learned something. Me, myself, I've learned something very useful from the proverbs in Chilemba. I'm learning learning bimba by the way this is really awesome i hope you to yourself you are learning that bimba i'm sure you can help me to pronounce these words perfectly by commenting on our facebook page tell me more what would you like to hear is my bimba improving or is my bimba going backwards is my bimba really bad Tell me off on Facebook. So like our page on Facebook, which is Kill Club Zambia. Do not forget to drop your name and say hi to me. Thank you so very much for joining us on our translations for today. Do join us next week because we are bringing to you more proverbs in Bemba. This has been Enya Piri. I love you all. Hey guys, I'm Joyce and I'll be talking about career choosing. Shopping may be a little bit confusing sometimes, more especially when a lot of splendidly magnificent varieties of goods are being uh, introduced to you. Which one to choose is a question ringing in your mind. But it, it might not be a little bit confusing as I've said uh, before. It might only be confusing when you do not know which one you really want to go for. Money sometimes may be a little bit of an issue when it comes to shopping. Same applies to career choosing. As a person, when you want to choose your career, there's some certain things which you must consider when choosing the career of yours and you must have certain things when choosing your career sometimes you're choosing a career without some things so same applies to uh, choosing a career you must have things which will guide you as a person and I think the first thing to have is family members family members may be a little bit helping when it comes to choosing your career which career to choose you must ask them such questions for they might be able to help you out also friends yeah, there's some friends who might not really help you out when it comes to choosing a career. But you must know which one to choose, which one not to choose. There are some friends whereby they are not helping you out when it comes to uh, producing or maybe living a productive life. Those friends drop. Choose friends who will be able to be there for you and those who help you maintain yourself as a person. Not only friends, you must also have a perspective and consciency. Yes. Know where you're standing, sweetheart. Know what, what you want to do in life. Know how you want to do it and why you want to do it. Such must be asked as you're trying to choose a career. And not only that, today I'll be talking about smart objectives. So what are smart objectives? Okay, smart objectives, there's a checklist. It, it's more like a checklist which you must uh, have as a person. Am I going to do it? Am I not going to do it? How am I going to do it? So smart objectives are more like a checklist. And I'll be taking you through in their initials respectively. I won't like take much of your time, but yeah, I'll be telling you about smart objectives. And the first one uh, in smart objectives, the, the word smart. 
Yes, it has its own initials. I think the first one it's S. S, uh, it's more like being specific. Yeah, as a person, you must be specific. Which career to choose? If you don't call a doctor, if you don't call a lawyer, am I going to manage? Am I not going to manage? Please be specific. Not to call all you just want to go there. Be specific on which career you want to choose as a person. So we've talked about specific, being specific. I think the second one is measurable. A quanti uh, you need to quantify your, uh, your objectives. These objectives which I'm choosing, this career which I'm choosing, is it going to be friendly with me? Am I not going to manage? Am I going to manage or not? Yeah, such needs to be like put into more consideration. You must consider these things. Uh, apart from M, we have A on the word smart. We have Earth. I think A, it's uh, achievable. I think achievable, measurable, these things goes in hand in hand because they they're a little bit similar. Am I going to achieve it? For example, then I want to reach a, a mango somewhere there. I want to pluck it out then. I'm not able to do it. So as in, okay, I need to ask that person who is able to do it for me. Okay, I'm short, I cannot manage. So you must ask yourself uh, a, a question. Am I going to manage with this career of mine? Am I not going to manage? Am I going to be able to achieve it or not? If yes, what is it that I have to do as a person? Okay. Uh, a we have R. Yeah, you need to be realistic. Please, sweetheart. Just be real with yourself. It's a no cheetah. Am I going to manage or not? Also, in being realistic, there's some uh things which you must consider. I will tell you about this one: exceptional performance in different subjects. Upezat uli good civic education. You want to study medicine, really. Sifilingana, they're like parallel, you cannot do such. Uh uh, Nalesa, you won't do that unless otherwise. Uh, so you must uh, be real to yourself. Am I going to do this? Am I going to be able to do this? So I think measurable, achievable, realistic goes hand in hand when it comes to smart objectives. We, I also have timed. Uh, time. The most important thing a human being needs is time. You need to make your time worth it. You need to set time. Okay, I want to be a doctor. Or maybe I want to do this in life. When am I going to start? Is it going to end maybe by the end of this month? Maybe by the end of this year? So such needs to be put into consideration. Or maybe I will not. So as a person, try to put time in order for you to know what you're doing and how you're going to do it. So time, remember, time most important. Uh, apart from that, I will talk about, I've talked about S, M, A, R, T. What else? E. Okay, E. You need to evaluate. You need to judge yourself. Judge that uh, same career of yours. How is it going to be? Okay, I don't know. But yeah, in whichever way it's going to be, you need to judge it. You need to evaluate. Okay. If you don't call a doctor. Have I managed to follow all those things which I've mentioned on smart objectives? Have I followed them or maybe have I done them perfectly? If not, then don't go for it. Then when you reach at this point whereby you evaluate each and everything, that's when we come to review. Try to review each and everything. Okay, yes, I have uh, a career which I want to choose. I know that I need to be sure the measurable things I've done them each and everything I've done them now let me review back am I gonna manage again that's when the question comes am I gonna manage am I not going to manage if not please don't go for it so career choosing might be a little bit confusing sometimes only if you're not very much careful and not very much serious with what you want to do ah uh, what else yeah, I think that's all for me. Join me next time when I'll be talking uh, much more about these things. You know, there are a lot of things which I'll be talking about. So join me next, next time for me. Bye-bye. Welcome back guys, thank you for staying tuned and thank you for, thank you so much that you are watching the show and you are following the show and you're liking the page and you are learning more each and every single day. Of course our translations were as that followed today and I learned so much. We are going to be having a lot of different translations each and every single day that we bring up the show to you guys. We'll be having them in Bemba, in Lozi, in Tonga, in, in Chichewa. So 
many vambili chabe vizamo kungo che kubwela kungo bwela tingo chita bwanchi tingo punzira pakati ka zungu lukema mu yonse ma tribes yata meti nayo muno mu Zambia ah ineche nikango che kubiliva na tini punzira chivemba pa kiu club na chitonga nza chipunzira oroka mamuna che ka chitonga kanenza da guys ngeoza nza mukambia che chitonga nane nizi nizi oroka nze tinga che mchitonga zanga zima kumima punzira pa kiu club anza kwanso ziwa ta pa akamba so Olo hapa mininga so, napunzi la pakiu kabini na ziba, kutema mininga so so na so so. Hey, waona. So, ni kufipunzi la chai daily, 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 daily. Let's move on to our animal facts for today. Wow, enjoy. The cotton top tamarind is a small species of monkey found in the forest of South America. The cotton top tamarind was named because of its elegant white fur that flows over its head and shoulders. The cotton top tamarind is found in tropical forest edges and secondary forests from Costa Rica to northwestern Colombia, where the cotton top tamarind spends the majority of its life in the trees. The cotton ton tamarind are among the smallest of the primates with a body length of 17 centimeters and a tail length of 25 centimeters. The four limbs of the cotton tamarind are shorter than the hind limbs. And unlike other monkeys, the thumb of the cotton top tamarind is not opposable and it does not have a prehensile tail. The cotton top tamarind is a duno primate which means that the cotton top tamarind is most active during the day and rests in the safety of the treetops during the night. Cotton top tamarinds are very sociable animals and inhabit their territory with the rest of their cotton top tamarind troops in which generally they are between 2 and 14 members. Cotton top tamarind troops are led by the eldest female and have predominantly male members. The cotton top tamarind is an omnivorous animal, meaning that the cotton top tamarind hunts both plants and other animals in order to survive. Fruits, insects, and green plants make up the majority of the tamarind's diet along with small rodents and reptile eggs and tree sap. Due to the relatively small size of the tamarind, it has a number of predators within its natural environment. Wild cats, dogs, snakes and birds of prey are primary predators of the cotton top tamarind along with humans who are destroying their natural habitat. The cotton top tamarind usually breeds between the months of April and July, when the female cotton top tamarind will give birth to twins or a single infant after a four to five month gestation period. The male cotton top tamarind carries and grooms infants more than the females do, but females clean the infant more than the males do. Older siblings are also known to contribute to infant care. Although infants prefer to be carried by their parents than by their siblings, infant cotton top tamarinds become mobile at 2 to 5 weeks and begin eating solid food at 4 to 7 weeks. They are independent at 10 to 18 weeks and are fully weaned at 15 to 25 weeks. Sexual maturity is attained at about two years of age. Today, the cotton top tamarind is considered to be a critically endangered species with an estimated wild cotton top tamarind population of just 6,000. The main reason for the severe decline in the cotton top tamarind population is that they have lost more than 75% of their natural habitat to deforestation. We 
fact, those were the animal facts that we had for you today about a cotton top tamarind. That's an amazing, amazing animal. It's a kichuma monkey. It's a ka monkey, ka? Monkeys are all over. Pesa kani kuera. Pamungan ka baby. Tukondo papa na maningi. Tuli mumtengo. Tukujama banana. Tuma jumpona na vakudia sometimes. Chenga umuenda. Chenga umuendo tuona. Na wana poka video kena angu. Vaimi ya na wakazi wao. Chabuela chabucha wakisi. Nga wakazi wawe na munga wanga chime nye. So those were cotton top tamarins. They're amazing animals if you treat them, if you treat them right. In history, we also learned that kudala kudala bantu zoneka munga chema kolwe. But in a sin ma believe, se me tima nika munga ma kore. Chen ma kore ma kopera chema behaviors kudis. Vaka unati kudia na ve vambo kudia. Vaka unati enda na ve vambo funi enda munga bantu. Mamu munga mu history ka. The Zinja prophecy. Kenya Pifika, see, we may be just a very job, but we may be the first men to discover the fire. Just like a book, a book, a movie. So now, boy, just a movie. Those guys were there in history back then, and they taught us about how fire came about. And you should also be the first person, maybe, to invent what? Maybe a growing fruit which grows without water in it, or a flower which grows without water in it. Yeah, but there are certain, there are non-flowering plants and flowering plants, but we should also be a person who wants to invent different, different things on a daily basis and you'll be able to become the best thing ever. Well, let's, we said, of course, we said that we're going to have a new segment for you guys. Not really a segment, but people are going to teach us, young kids like you guys and me are going to teach us about the Komboko ceremony and other ceremonies. Let's look into that. Enjoy. Hello guys, my name is Esther Shimremi and I'm Blessing Spin Avila. So I'm, I'm so excited about this new segment on Q Club as we'll be talking about a lot of different ceremonies in Zambia. And do you know that Zambia has got more than 20 traditional ceremonies? But the main focus for today, we're talking about Kwambuka ceremony, guys. Kwambuka, such a unique name that they gave to a lousy people, guys. Esther, why do you understand it by Kwambuka um, ceremony? Before I answer that question, a lot of people think that Kwambuka ceremony deals with evil spirits, with boring stuff. But guys, there's more to it than being actually that. So, Kwambuka ceremony is a lousy word. That means getting out of water. And it is celebrated by the lousy people of the Western province. And it marks the movement of the king, which is the Lutunga. Guys, the king of the Lozi is called the Lutunga. It marks his, mov his movement from the flooded pla plains to higher lands. Now, what do you mean what you get from the getaway from water? Is that when you get and then about choco? What do you... And I think, and mm, yeah, that's an interesting question, by the way. Um, Komboka ceremony is celebrated at the end of the rain season. That is when the upper Zambezi floods the plain. So, which means they have to move from there as it is flooded to higher lands, seeking, you know, for land. Yes. Yes, so and it's it's so amazing, guys. I wish I could visit there sometimes. Yeah, I think we should visit one day. We should, you guys, it's so interesting. Also, you should also tell your mommy or your daddies to take your say, You guys, it's so amazing, so interesting, you guys. And as they Enjoy. move out uh, from flat plains to highlands, they move in a royal badge called the Nalikwanda. Nalikwanda. The Nalikwanda oh, is painted black and white stripes, and it has a big statue. It's a big statue. It's the elephant. And guys they also light a fire and once the smoke uh, is maybe rising up it signals that the the king is well and alive like he's doing well and the nalikwanda is moved by a lot of strong men as they paddle on the zambezi yes. if you've never been to a mijamaz or kilambot so that's what we mean yes they paddle and they paddle and they paddle until they reach the limulunga which is the flat plains yeah, so from okay. the Lialui to the Limunga, wow, that's so amazing. And the, what have noticed this, like young children, people, they don't now consider like Yeah, this yeah, I've noticed you that You as have well. to consider it, you guys. It's not all about maybe it's modeling, doing that to show whatever, whatever you guys. You have to also to know the to know your culture, also to know the tradition that happens here in Zambia, you guys. To help you to understand more about this tradition that we have here in Zambia, guys. Don't you think so interesting? It's so nice. Oh my God. Yes, oh my God, God bless him. So that's, so, that's an important <gasps> point. And do you know one thing about the Komboka ceremony? Uh, it is um, it's signaled by royal drums called the royal drums oh. called the Maombe. And they are drummed oh, before the day of Komboka, which mm -hmm. shows that Komboka will take place the following day. And have you noticed this year, Komboka didn't take place yeah, due to it didn't. rain that we never had rain at Western Province, oh, you guys. We never had oh my rain. God. 
Oh, it's so sad, you guys. But, but anyway, anyway I, I'm hoping for me, like, next year it's going to take place. We just pray that to God that rain is going to come next year. We're going to celebrate this uh, tradition time. When, oh, my God. And as you blend now, it's so it's an exciting and an amazing ceremony. Oh, and there are dances, there are drums, there are what? Yes, exactly. Oh it's God. so amazing, I'd guys. Like, to like go really. and see how they dance, how they talk. Do they even change the language? It's lozy. I mean, come on, they're, they're lozy people. Oh my God. It's oh, so shit. amazing, it's so, guys. So you should go visit there. So the so yes. the reason why they celebrate the Komoka ceremony is to move from floody plains, as we said, to higher lands. Yes, for them to like have a, a place where they can plant their crops, do this and do that. Because guys, sing on Kalipa Manzibo, that's impossible. No, no it's, it's done at the end of the season. Um, April, yes. So guys, uh, that's all we had for you oh, on today's so segment on Q Club. Today we talked about the Komoka ceremony, but join us next time as we'll be talking about other amazing traditional oh, ceremonies shit. we have in Zambia. So for today, it's Goodbye. Bye-bye. That was, well, of course, Komboka ceremony is an amazing ceremony, guys. We've learned that there's Chibot, which has black and white stripes. Huh? And also those black and white stripes represent the Zambezi River. Is it the Zambezi River or the Victoria Falls? Yes, between the two, I'm confused. You can correct me on our Facebook page, of course. It's the, the, the Victoria Falls. Of course, the Victoria Falls. Now I remember I visited it. Ask me where. But the Victoria Falls, the white stripes everywhere. And of course, they are mostly men are there. But I want to see a woman. Woman power. We can do this, women. We can do this. Even you, if you feel like you want to go there and visit and maybe experience the fun, the amazing fun that happens, the real fun that happens outside, you can go. Me, I want to go. You can even see the body move and everything that they are enjoying what they are doing. How those guys dance. It's just amazing. Our culture cultures are very amazing our traditional ceremonies are amazing guys and they are mind blowing i can't wait to learn more and more from these guys as they bring the fire on the show cuz it's amazing to learn about different different ceremonies that we have in zambia i know of atisansa atisansa shani for the bembas <laughs> atisansa kumanzi Something like that, something like that. But on our Facebook page, you can correct me if I haven't pronounced it well. You, the members, of course, you come and say, Ah, we're Bridget. It was wrong. It's not like that. It's like this. But also, those guys are amazing. Thank you guys for teaching us amazing ceremonies. And thank you guys, you guys out there at home, learning more ceremonies. I hope when you go back to school, you'll be able to mention one or two things from your teacher when they ask you. In SDS, is it SDS? See, I still remember where we talk about different ceremonies and cultures in SDS if you're in grade 7 and grade 5. Panari panari, tilitonsi. Panari kaluru na chimbi. Kaluru na chimbi, we weze pakuki in competition. Ah, la 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 la, chadiva. Pakuki in competition hapo, paki in wala boa kambaza pika che, Binzi ya buino, binzi guys, nizi ya mwena nkusumi yiko nda binzi nda wanyama gases, but sewe na nkusumi yiko nda binzi. Kari wana chimbo na pika binzi, mo chipoto chikulu, kari wana zina chipoto chikulu, so! Na wana wana chimbo zina chipoto chikulu, so chikulu guys! Chau tuka mbo chiti ya kula, nchipoto, chimunga chapa madiro chinja, hee, chia chita chipoto. Chikulu, haba mbo pika binzi, wa pika binzi wateka hapo. Kupika, 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 pika, paponi. Namo ma spice wa chimbi. Wa kaluru paponi. Namo ma spice ya wa pika. Wa kinche wa stop zev na wan kumuns. Wa kaluru wa bo wan bosta distract wan zau. Ati chimbi, chimbi, chimbi. Eko zeko chistori woi. Na na wa chimbi wata. Nyo zeko woi. Chimbi ka? Pache pete zote ya bola. Nze na bona chiponi ya chibola ti so. Video ti wa bo wan gena mo binzi ya chi ya chimbi. Na bona vite nga futi chibuwa pechi nani nda kutari. Na bona vite umpona na chiso munga ndine gokipa. Awa ponye nama video tiba ntuwa. Weke tata kwa ndo zi watu aaa. Neze futi bora umkali uyu. Na mwa neze liri. Batu woi nza kushimikina futi. Boti piti lizi. Vapika futi vapika wa zungurusa vima chani vau. Kuzungurusa vima limitiko mkati mwabinzi. Kuzungurusa kuzunguruka. Futa buwa kamba. Chimbu chimbu. Pacha peteze kumanzi. Nsomba neze na bona igwila chiso. Vangena vima doti. Futi paja pati tiboti ende kumanzi. Neti yanga leze na bona iponya chiso. Bote la muna vidoti. Yeze time yo vii sevinga vibinzi. Achimu na kaluru watenga mambale yao wa sevinga. Wakini mambo testi inga manji. 
Vaja mwini ya wachi mbwi. Vaja fesi mwini ya kaluru. Mwafesa kaluru yeze. Che buno buino mwezebe visanti. Mwezebe vidoti vili vonse. Mwawa kaluru wabu vaenda. Vaja. Mwachi mbwi. Vaja 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 vaja. Wabu wapeza mwa vidoti vidasti. Wabu wavika na vichani vao. Wabu wavika na vizibinzi vao. Binzi yako niya doti. Ita kusala disqualify. Na kashimi kapela. You guys, what have you learned from today's story? For me, Napunzira Kuti. Let nothing distract you from what you are doing. If you've concentrated your mind on doing something, if it's schoolwork, let it be schoolwork. Let not your friends or your mommy or your best friend or your close friend or anything in this world distract you on something that you've concentrated your mind on. If you say, no, I'll concentrate on this, it will be school first, it will be God first. Let it be just like that. Don't let anything. Not distract. Or not even mosquitoes. Not even a way then distract if you're doing something. Let no one distract you and let no one lie to you. Set goals. Be a person who loves certain goals in life. If you set them, let them be in order and learn to tick them. When you achieve something, tick it. Do not wait for tomorrow because tomorrow will never come. What of your tomorrow has already passed? What will you do? Ah, when you make it Tuesday, manja Tuesday yako ngayina pita kudar. When you make it next. Yeah, next kapena siyako, it wasn't meant for you. So plan, be a person who plans and be a person who is innovative, a person who wants to learn more from other people. Don't be a jealous person, such that you want to sabotage other people's things if they are nice. Awe, ufunachevi mkanevoi, pavawanzako, iyai. Be a person who wants to help other people as well. When you help other people, it will be a better Zambia, a better country. If you're seeing your friend is not improving, go to your friend. Tell them, ah, we're woe, yeah, but so, 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 so. Not go shout at them. I'm fashion, guys. It's old fashioned. It was screwing. It's screw, screw. It's time to move to another level. It's time to, you know, build up our houses. If you have a window level, you can see this. We come on a marata. Never cheat that. Change every life, che, guys. Every life, che, babe. It's time for us to build it up. It's time for us to tell our friends. It says that is our approach to in class. We are going to go to the house. We are going to go to the house. So uh, next time more you can use a coach so and the kakondwe. Nay umuzi or muzi a chip or mutenga chase if my baba sis brain baker or a kutuka and I were a dog, you are a what? No, it won't be on your body like a tattoo that will never be erased. But you what you do, it's not an error. Yes, it is an error to them, they'll insert you in front of everyone, they'll look like they're stars and big stars. It's better to look like a fool in front of people, but to look like an innocent person, it's better that God looks at you and say this is my son to whom i'm well pleased and to whom i i love because this person has humbled themselves this is all we had for you today on q club hope you guys had an amazing time while well, we've come to the end of today's show i've been your presenter for today bridget and zulu we have our facebook page which is q club zambia b be alert, be alert, because each and every single day we bring you all the best. Like our Facebook page, comment, be part of the family. From here, Bridget, it's bye-bye and keep on watching every day. <laughs>